welcome once again to the Billy the Brush Art Channel, dedicated to Billy Mumford, the world's greatest living reformed art forger. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Vincent van Gogh, and the painting you can see behind me is a fabulous work by Billy Mumford, depicting one of van Gogh's most famous works, Starry Night. We'll also visit an avid collector of Billy's work, whose collection includes some nice examples of Billy's Van Goghs. After the visit, we'll go back to Global Art, where, unfortunately, another of Billy's masterpieces has gone missing. Finally, I'll set you the weekly challenge to identify which out of two pairs of paintings are actually Van Goghs. Before we start, however, the answer to last week's challenge was the Raza. So, a brief history of Vincent van Gogh. Van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist painter who was among the most famous and influential figures in the history of Western art. In just over a decade, he created about 2,100 artworks, which included around 900 oil paintings, most of which date from the last two years of his life. He died at the age of 37, having suffered from mental illness and poverty for most of his life. Van Gogh was born in Groot Zundert, Netherlands, in 1853. He was a quiet and thoughtful child, and his interest in art began at an early age. He studied art in Amsterdam and, and Brussels, and in 1885 moved to Paris, where he encountered works of the Impressionists, and was particularly inspired by Jean-François Millet, and Jean-Baptiste Camille Corot. In 1889, he suffered a mental breakdown and was admitted to an asylum in saint remy de provence where he stayed for a year and three months. During this time, he painted some of his most notable works, including The Church at Auvers-sur-Oise and Starry Night. Van Gogh moved to Auvers-sur-Oise in 1890, where he continued to paint until his death from a self-inflicted gunshot wound in the July of that year. Although he was not widely appreciated until after his death, his works are now amongst the most expensive and sought after in the world. So we're now going to visit a collector of Billy's work that has some very nice examples of Van Gogh's art. Okay, we're at the home of a very avid collector of uh, Billy's works and we're just going to have a look around and um, at his uh, collection. So if you could just explain about this, John, the, uh, why you bought the um, uh, uh, that, Starry Night. That, yeah. uh, the Starry Night is um, one that I've always, a painting I've always admired really. And that was the first one that I got Billy to actually uh, commissioned to do. Um, and just, yeah, I drew my first one that he did. The other ones I'd all bought previously done. Um, so which one was the one you saw in James's kitchen? The Lowry here. Oh, the little Lowry, Street right. Street little Lowry one. Um, yeah. I saw in James's kitchen and thought, I like that. And said to him, if you ever want to sell it, I'll buy it from you. And um, when I saw him next time in the gallery, I said, what about that one? Oh, it's not for sale, not for sale. And uh, eventually he gave in and uh, let me have it, with the help of Vince. <laughs> uh, Okay. That was um, a starry night over the Rhone that my son and daughter-in-law uh, commissioned. Um, but when it, uh, they found out in the end they couldn't have it over the fireplace because they had a wood-burning stove. So uh, rather than let it go, and I decided to buy it myself and makes a nice, nice pair of the two together there. It does, yes. They work very well together, don't they? That's, uh, yeah, lovely. Right, OK. Well, should we uh, move on through? Yeah. That uh, okay. Sunflowers by Van Gogh was the first one I actually bought. Um, I went into Jim's gallery for the first time, saw that and thought, uh, my daughter is mad on sunflowers. So I th that was my first one to the uh, collection. Is that a Raza on the left hand side? That's a Raza and that's a Raza and that's a Carapel. Car right. 
Um, Fabulous. To, I mean, they really work so well together, they do. don't they? Um, I had Boy and Bird to start with, which again arrived back from uh, Billy's studio. I took it off the van and had that. Um, before then, anyone else could get their hands on it. on it. Yeah, and the same applies to that one there. That came off the Raza, yeah. off the van. And then I was missing her, had a space there. And then when Jim last came back from Billy's, um, I got on the van first and took that one off. Right. So, and the three complement each other. Uh, uh, fabulous. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it really does work really well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, if you could just tell me a little bit about the Lowry. The carousel one by Lowry um, was again one that I saw in the gallery and thought it's uh, just a rather nice picture there with the people and the dogs and that. So roughly how long have you been collecting um, Billy's work for? Um, three years, two and a half, three years now. Two and yes. a half, three years, yes. right. And you've got how many pieces in total now? Um, Eleven altogether. Right. Yeah, okay. Eleven altogether now. So an, an avid collector. Uh, yes, getting that way. I'm running out of space now, as you can see, so right. there won't be many more coming to the collection. Now back to James at Global Art. Okay, well Billy's asked me to uh, mention a few facts about Van Gogh. You can see Van Gogh's sunflowers behind me, and there's a pastiche of a Van Gogh painting here as well that he loves doing. Uh, Van Gogh painted 900 paintings in 10 years. He lived on coffee, bread and cigarettes almost exclusively. Uh, his Starry Night was created while he was in an asylum. Um, he only saw one painting during his lifetime and he shot himself in a wheat field and died two days later. And um, there's a bit of controversy there because I'm not sure whether it was a student who shot him or he actually shot himself. Um, his last words to his brother was, the sadness will last forever. And um, he suffered from mental illness all his life. So as you can see, lovely painting of sunflowers and this lovely past... Oh, what's that gone? The pastiche has gone. She's been at it again. Not the billy knicker. The billy knicker. Oh my God, not again. So, to today's challenge. I'm going to show you two examples of Van Gogh's work and two copies painted by Billy. The challenge is to identify whether the first pair or the second pair are the originals. So, here are the first pair. the originals are, please answer in the comments section below. Well, thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll get a notification when I post the next video. As always, if you'd like to buy one of Billy's paintings, please visit our website at billythebrushart.com.